Hi, myself Pooja Bak, Assistant Professor of GKCM of GIS Group, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. Here you will find the details of my contact information. And I have developed a Facebook page where regular updates regarding this course are available time to time. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about introductory part of digital communication. The necessity of digitization. Why is digital communication so important? The conventional methods of communication used analog signals for long distance communications which suffer from many losses such as distortion, interference, and other losses, including security breach. In order to overcome these problems, the signals are digitized using different techniques. The digitized signals allow the communication to be more clear and more accurate without losses. The digital signal consists of ones and zeros, which indicate high and low values respectively. Okay, now I will talk about the block diagram of digital communication system. So this is the transmitting part or transmitter and this is the receiving part or receiver. So in transmitting part, we have the message signal. So the message signal can be analog message signal like voice or it can be digital message signal or discrete message signal like picture is a discrete message signal. If I have black and white picture then it is digital. If I don't have black and white then it means discrete signal. Okay, now information source. This message signal which we are getting in the physical form. So if you have to communicate any transmitter, you will send the signal in physical form like voice is the physical signal. It has to convert into electrical signal to go to the electronic part of the transmitter using the information source which is called transducer. So here also we will get analog or digital signal both. The signal produced by this source is converted into digital signal. We need source encoder. Source encoder used to remove the redundancy in the code. If some part of signal removed, so bandwidth requirement will be less. And the help of source encoding, we can do compression of signal as well. So the data compression also there. After all these, the signal is now converted into digital signal. Now digital signal goes to channel encoder. The channel encoder does the coding for error correction. During the transmission of the signal may get altered any hence to avoid this. The channel encoder adds some redundant bits to the transmitted data. These are the error correcting bits. Let's suppose if I have a source code 0110. After the channel encoding add some redundancy bit due to noise. So it will be 010110. So due to noise channel encoder added this 0, 01 redundant bit to the actual source code 0110 
and uh, delta modulation adaptive delta modulation pulse coat modulation are used for this now modulator modulator is used such that carrier signal is superimposed with the message signal carrier is high power signal message is low power signal if i have to send message it will not go up to a long distance if i have to send a message to a longer distance i will use some high power signal on which the message will be superimposed and it will go to longer distance this process is happening here for example if we represent 1 by sin x and 0 by cos x then we will transmit sin x for 1 and cos x for 0 travel through channel or medium ask fsk psk qpsk those are used for this modulator okay now channel the communication channel is the physical medium that is used for transmitting signals from transmitted to receiver transmitted to receiver in wireless system this channel consists of atmosphere telephony there are optical channels underwater acoustic channel etc now it goes to demodulator demodulator which is opposite of modulator we are extracting message from the carrier signal now and the signal gets reconstructed here after that we have channel decoder here at the channel decoder we are checking that any error was there if any error was there it will correct it with the help of redundant bit okay now the receiving code what is 010111 there is an error the last bit which is 1 which is corrected by channel decoder after channel decoding we get information in terms of digital data without redundancy so channel decoder is correcting the data 010111 and produce the original data which is transmitted without redundant bits which is 0110 and send it to the source decoder now source decoder is converting this digital bits into a analog signal now the signal is analog and it goes to output transducer and output transducer is converting this electrical signal into physical signal so now when i convert electrical signal into physical signal i will receive the message which was sent by the sender if a sender is sending a message how it is going from this many blocks and coming to the receiver so this is the block diagram of digital communication system i hope that you have understood the session and if you like my video then please subscribe it thank you